Hello, in this video we take a look to the obstacle sensor. The way it works is this is a infrared transmitter and it is sending a light and when the light reflects to something it will be catched by this receiver and then the it will set a pin high or low and the Arduino will read a signal. The sensor has uh, two built-in LEDs and I connect the sensor only on the ground and on the 5 volts and you see that one LED is burning the book will reflect the infrared light and the, the other LED starts glowing up so then the sensor detects the signal and if I measure the distance then it's 11 centimeters. There are uh, two uh, potential meters and I played with it and found out that 11 centimeters is the maximum distance. For that you turn this potential meter, the one on the crown side, all the way counterclockwise and the other one you turn all the way clockwise. Then you get the maximum result. Uh, sellers claim that you can adjust the sensor all the way till uh, 40 centimeters. Uh, I didn't manage that, uh, but there is a fourth pin on the, the sensor. Uh, I don't know where this pin is for, and I don't know where this bridge is for. Uh, I disconnected, I played with it, put the voltage on the pin, I, I made it an output, I made it an input, but I couldn't figure out. So if you know where this fourth pin is for, or how to hack this bridge, uh, please uh, leave a comment uh, under this video and share it with the world. Uh, anyway, the sensor works pretty good with uh, three pins. And this is how I set it up on the board. Uh, signal in A0 and I set up a reset button. And this button is the switch module from the 37 sensor kit. Uh, I connect it on pin 8. I'm gonna use the sensor to count objects, for example, on an assembly line. And inside the code, we set up the sensor to pin A0. We set up the button, and in the loop, we read the value from the sensor. We know if the sensor is not detecting anything, the value is around 1000. And if it detects something, it drops all the way till 10. So, what I did, I made an if statement and if the incoming value is below detect and detect is 20 so if it is below 20 less value is bigger than 900 so it will be because it's looping very very fast we have to make sure that it's not counting all the time and if this is true then it adds one to the counter and if we press the button, if the button state is zero, then we reset the counter and it sets the counter to zero. And this is inside the monitor. And if I put an object before the sensor, then you see it's counting. And if I press the button, Uh, it says button pressed and counter is zero and we start again. So this is how you can use this sensor as a counter. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and see you in the next video.